Now, first of all, when we look at sustainable investing, I think it's helpful to you know, get out of the weeds a little bit and, and zoom out, you know, take a, take a 500 foot view of what have we achieved and you know, where do we need to go? What do we need to achieve? I think if we start uh, you know, overall so far for society, I think it's important that we start with the results are obviously not you know, up to par, right? I would, I would say that probably the biggest intervention to reduce emissions this critical decade came out of an animal market in Wuhan. Um, and so really we need to be doing a lot more and yet today, we also see that sustainable investing is growing at breakneck speed, right? So ESG words are going up, ESG assets are increasing, bank profits are, are increasing, bank ESG profits are increasing, and they're all increasing alongside like emissions, not to mention inequality and a bunch of other things that they're meant to affect. So it doesn't really seem to be working at a, at a societal level in the way that we want it to. And you know, I would add that doesn't just create risks for the planet, it also creates all kinds of political instability. I'm 43 and the data shows that the majority of the people younger than me no longer believe in capitalism, right? So there's a challenge where um, an intergenerational wealth transfer is going on that creates a lot of political instability. And I would add, adds urgency to what we're doing. So one of the things I'd say at the top to frame this is that often I'll hear you know, people say, oh, well, the ESG space needs reform, but give it more time, It'll, you know, it's gonna get there. And I think we have to also accept that there's a bit of privilege in the ability to make that argument because I don't think that an eight-year-old girl in Bangladesh would sort of say, hey, give it more time, or in Pakistan, if I would say, give it more time um, right now. And, 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 you know, there is, at its core, a lot of what's going on with climate change increasingly looks, I would tell you as, as a former insider in the industry, a little bit less like we're all making a collective mistake and a bit more like a heist because the delay isn't just amplifying the costs of everything, but they're also transferring them to the youngest, the poorest, and the darkest skinned people in the world. So, you know, the, the urgency that we need to fix this, we have to accept that that urgency should be as if the planet were sitting at the table and all the planet is going to care about is emissions, not statements, not all kinds of other things. It only cares about the end results and the outcomes.